personal story segment tonight, always not getting much attention this year. Ralph Nader is again running for president and has been closely watching the McCain-Obama race, including the debate last night. Mr. Nader joins us now from Connecticut. Okay, I mean, you've heard the program, you know how I feel about this uh, economic uh, chaos, and you saw the candidates last night. What say you? Well, I didn't hear the phrase jail time, not bail time for these Wall Street crooks who have swindled trillions of dollars and have jumped into a golden lifeboat while they tanked their own companies, unemploy workers, and loaded up on innocent taxpayers and put it to the pensioners. Uh, you know, don't these guys believe law and order, crime in the suites, uh, you know, a $700 billion blank check bailout without any power given to the shareholders, without uh, re-regulating these crooks so they can't do it again? This is serious stuff, Bill. In all of American history, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen more cowardly members of Congress. I've never seen such a toady in the White House. You know, 230 years ago, we were 13 colonies under King George III. We're now 50 colonies under King George IV. All right, Time look, for taxpayer hmm. rebellion. Bush is certainly culpable on this, but we've got to look forward. And you've got two guys who yeah. both say they're change agents. You've got McCain who has been noted as a tough, feisty guy. I think he's a no-spin guy. You got Obama, who's very smart and has seen poverty because he worked in poverty in Chicago. They both get up on the national stage, and they don't show a lot of passion for the folks suffering, and I'm trying to figure out why. Do you know? One, they're dialing for the same corporate dollars for their campaign. Uh, two, they're not part of the risk. You know, you heard Obama say they're well off. They got good pensions. They they got secure jobs. And third, the people are not organizing yet. They're really angry, uh, but they're not organized. You know, to really put a laser beam on these guys. So why should There's the people be have to put the laser beam on them? Why don't they figure out that the folks are angry, as you just said, and everybody knows that. Why don't they figure out, look, I want to get on the side of the folks. I'm not buying a corporate money because Obama raises his money through Internet. He's got more money than he can spend. And McCain, you know, he's jacked up, too, with a lot of money. They don't need any more money. They need to get on the right side of the issue. Now, what they say, I don't have too much of a quibble with. But the way they say it, it's coming across as politics as usual when we're in a terrible situation that requires that requires a crusader and a real, real passion look, to right the wrong. Look, if they had any guts, uh, Bill, they would make the speculators on Wall Street pay for their bailout. A one-tenth of one percent tax on security derivative speculation this year will produce $500 billion. We had it during the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, FDR. But right now, people, working people, go into a store and they pay 6% sales tax for necessities of life. A $100 million buy on a derivative of Exxon tomorrow, they don't pay a cent sales tax. McCain and Obama have no guts. They're, you know, they may have uh, political courage in some ways, military courage, but they don't have the moral courage, which is why we're going to have a big rally on Wall Street October 16th of taxpayers, investors, pensioners, and workers to confront Wall Street and apropos Reagan in Berlin, we're going to say, tear down that wall, okay, capitalist. But, but look, and you, stop, you are and stop, a notorious uh, anti-corporate guy, and you've been that way. So I've known you now for decades. You've always been an anti-corporate guy. I'm not an anti-corporate guy. I believe that I'm an anti-corporate crime guy. Okay, okay. I'm but, an yeah, anti-corporate crime guy. Come on, Ralph. I mean, yeah. you know, you, your posture is that these people more often than not are taking advantage of the folks. I don't believe that. I believe that most corporations provide jobs and health care, and you've got to have them in a nation of 300 million. I'm not a corporate basher. What I am is I want oversight, and I want bad people held accountable for their misdeeds. That's... So I don't want to tear the system down, and I don't want to go in with a hammer and, and get innocent people who do run their companies well. That's not me. But you have two it's guys. It's not me either. You, you've yeah. got, well, come on, Ralph. I mean, you know you're not. No, 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 you're, no. You're, you're not Look, a corporate. we've known each other. Go ahead. We've known each other a long time. We want good regulation. Uh, the federal cop on the corporate crime, consumer, environmental abuse beat. And, and, and that's why we want people... To, go, to log in at events. See, at if Nader, I were president, you know what I'd do? I'd make you yeah. in charge of the SEC. 
<laughs> you would no, be the, the guy. Justice See, you'd be such a pain Justice in the Department. butt to them that yeah. they wouldn't do yeah. anything. That's where I'd have you. All right. Let Ralph me ask Nader. you, Bill. Will you will you speak at Wall Street at our rally? Uh, no. Events I, I don't get involved with any Nader. political Nader. stuff. I, I'm, I am a watchdog. This isn't political. I'm a watchdog, Ralph. You're, That's what I am. But I appreciate dog. the invitation. You're a watchdog. All right. You're a watchdog. Let me ask you, what's your favorite cat? My favorite cat? <laughs> my favorite what? Uh, a little humor. Put those guys in jail. Oh, what's That's my what favorite do. cat? Hey, yeah, Ralph, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you go to happy hour before you came on this program or what? Ralph Nader, everybody in Connecticut. When we come right back.